I just wanted to give a quick demonstration on how I use this light meter. The light enters through here, so normally this is covered by the lens cap, but the light enters through this kind of white ball surface here. And then when I turn it on, it automatically starts to record light. I prefer to use Lux because Lux looks at meter, whereas Foot Candle looks at Foot Candle. Uh, here, it, this looks like a lot of light, but it's actually not a lot. Uh, it's only registering 2,350 uh, lux. However, if I lower it into the tank, right at the level of the plants, like where they are receiving most of their light, and then I click hold, then we can take a look again. And this is much better light. This is um, 941 times 10, so 9,410. That equates to a PPFD of about 240, which is uh, really, really good for Nepenthes. So PPFD is uh, the amount of photosynthetically active light that is actually reaching the plants. So in order to figure out the PPFD from the Lux, all you have to do is take this number and enter it into a PPFD calculator and also enter in what color or temperature your lights are. And I have a link for that on the website. But uh, another way you can tell if your plants are getting a good amount of light is just by looking at your plants. You can see this one has some nice blushing of the leaf. Um, in fact, when this leaf was made, I had three of these shop lights over the top, and that was actually a little bit too much. Uh, you can see that these leaves were a little bit smaller and really, really red. You can definitely see sunburn on the sanguinea back there. And so when I removed one of the shop lights, uh, it lowered the light intensity to a level that the plants enjoy a lot more. Uh, you would think that more is always better with light, but uh, too much and you get some sunburn like this. Now the leaves are a better size, still have a nice slight reddish tinge, uh, but you know they're larger, the plants are growing a lot faster, and most importantly they are picturing a lot better. So every leaf in here basically has a full-blown pitcher, um, and the pitcher to leaf ratio is really good. You can see that the size of the leaf and the size of the pitcher is a, is a good ratio. These ones back here are kind of unique, these truncata hybrids. They're kind of famous for having a massive pitcher to the size leaf that they produce. So, I mean, look at this one. I can't really quite reach it while I'm holding the phone, but here's the size of the leaf versus the size of the pitcher, which is larger which is about as large as my hand. It just doesn't look like it because it's way back there and I can't reach it. Um, you can also see that uh, see good light on this Spathulata Campanulata back here. This one could probably even use more light. I see no red blushing on the leaves. But the size of the leaves are good and most importantly, the pictures look great. Uh, let's, if we go over to the Sanguinea over here, Again, nice big pitcher, slight blushing on the leaves, but not too much. And uh, the plant has very sh uh, short internodes. That means that the space between the leaves is really tight and that the uh, growth is very compact, which is another sign of good lighting. So over here, here's another good example. Got some mold on this plant. For some reason, um, this plant produces a ton of nectar and then the mold likes to eat it, which is why you see those black spots on the leaves. It's not anything to worry about, but um, increasing ventilation can help reduce it. But you can also see here, the plant has very compact growth. The size of the leaves looks good when compared to the size of the pitchers, and the pitchers have beautiful, beautiful deep color here.